hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking in thank you for your likes overwhelming comments positive negative they are always welcome here apart from the insults we don't take insults guys and we don't insult we don't intend to insult anyone and so we don't expect insults thank you so much my people for always coming back to check on me your love and support is amazing i really appreciate it. i'm so grateful my new subscribers this is the place this is the plague stay tuned stay in thank you so much for subscribing and my returning subscribers keep on coming back but also remember to subscribe okay hit on the notification bell so that every time i upload a new video you'll be among the first people to be notified so guys wonders shall never end like in nyabuhanse especially since marwa is still in the village marwa said that he was supposed to travel he never traveled and now the things that this man is doing in the village it's really worrying me i'm starting to think that maybe at some point maybe he's not okay or maybe this village is really getting into him you see i was busy i've been busy i was busy in the farm i was busy in the chicken and you people came calling me. Fei. Fei K. <laughs> Fei K. Re. Fei K. Re. How many times did I call you? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Fei K. Re came calling me. Caro, drop those chickens. Drop them. Come running on the streets. The streets is calling you. <laughs> Fei K. Re. Hi to you. <laughs> Shout out to you, baby girl. Hey, the streets are calling you. Where are you? Drop the chickens, drop all those things that you're doing in the farm. Drop, come, 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 running. <laughs> See, Marwa has taken the horses in the river to be taking water from the river. I said, uh -uh, what kind of thing is this? Have you heard anywhere? Where? Where, guys? Or when did you hear that these horses are going in the river to drink water? No, like kindly, I've never seen this. Enlighten me if I haven't heard this because... When I heard this, I felt like I was dreaming. I was like, what? What is happening on this street? Like, honestly. <laughs> this is the same way Toto, the donkey, was treated until, actually mistreated, until it died. Because of this kind of mistreatment. Remember, that was just a donkey. What about this horse and the mules? The one horse and the mules. Imagine Marwa taking the mules and the horse in the river to be taking water. In the same river, the horses are pooping there. In the same river, <laughs> the cows, they're drinking from there and pooping from there. Same river where people are taking bath. This same, same river where people are fetching water. Hey, if wonders were a person, I'm so sorry, guys, to break this news to you right now as I was continuing to, to shoot. I've just received a message that, oh, Ama the mule has died. May her soul rest in eternal peace. What can I say? I was still telling you how the donkey was mistreated until it died. Now see, one of the mules has died. According to, to this video right here. See, the thing was, I, I, I could not open to watch the whole thing, but I've just read the title. The title was saying that, eh, hey, it's very sad news. Ama has died. I was still talking about this thing. I was still talking about this thing. I'll go back and watch that video later because I'm still shooting. I want to present this video to you. But at least that is the sad news that have crossed us on this street. Eh, hey, what else? The donkeys or those uh, mules, they will still be taken back to the river again to drink the dirty water by and also being scared over there with the water. We don't know what really killed this mule. Is it that it was not eating well? Is it the ticks? Is it the dirty water? Is it that it was scared to cross the river since it was forced to take? Guys, I don't know. For people who understand these horses, Kindly, come out and let us analyze together and understand what really killed this donkey. But meanwhile, let's watch this other clip that Maro was doing of forcing these things in the water, these things. Guys, uh, 
We just came from training. And Rio, let's go. Rio. Aya. Oya, it's too early. Rio, apony ma kido, na kijit. Ah, ida kupi kateke. Tell him to. I'm telling him to be careful. Rio, let's go, Rio. What's the problem? Rio, you should be super relaxed. This should be a problem. Relax. Stop, stop, Rio. Stop, Rio, stop. I have to step inside here. I have no choice. Rio. Rio, come on. Come on, Rio. Come on, Rio. Rio. Rio, come on. Come on, Rio. Stop, stop. Wanna bring the other ones? Rio, relax. This is your river. You'll be walking here every day. Hold the rope. Bring with the rope. Rope. Ah, yeah. Rio, relax. Rio, relax. Relax, Rio. Rio, relax. Relax, Rio. Relax. This is your river. You'll be grazing here every day. They yeah, are serious training. You know, these horses, they don't want you to give up. You have to... Yeah, you have to lead them. You, you don't let the horse lead you. You see, like the other one is still leading us. Actually, this was the, the one. I have 20 razo. So guys, we're exploring with the river. You come. Mom, you want to have this? You can come experience this. Yeah, they're now relaxed. You know it's fear. Yeah, I know. Fear. Yeah. Wanda shall never end in your bohanza. Wanda shall never end. Me, all I have to say is to just wish them all the best because what can you do? What can you say? <laughs> With Marwa, what he believes in is what he believes in. If this is what he wants for his horses, then let it be. What can we say? Mm -hmm. For us, it's just to talk about it here because sometimes they do learn from our videos the other day, I had people talking and writing comments on his video that you should at least be taking this Rocio out. Since the other day, she went to Migori with Paris and they were enjoying pizza and all these things. And she started learning that, oh, things are out here. You know, Maro has been keeping her in the, in the villa for a very long time. So now Maro has this pressure of taking her out. Maro decided to take her out to eat Ugali. <laughs> and fish in a common kiosk marwa if you are the black man in the black goggles from the swamp the man with the horses in the village do the right thing how can you take this girl into a kibanda kiosk here we call them the kibanda eh? kibanda to eat ugali no 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 is this not the same ugali that she also eats from home what did she eat? Chips and, and what? <laughs> I hear people say, eh, what was that? Why in the Kibanda? And local vegetables. One thing I love is uh, they actually warm. Rosia is trying her best and get the river on the other side with some chips. How is it? Get the river went different this time. Yeah, yeah. They were easy. So, let's enjoy some food. Look how you eat. <laughs> mm. I'm so hungry. <laughs> hey, hey, Rocio, mom. 
Rose, your mom is enjoying Africa very, very well. Let me wish them all the best. That's all I can say on this trip. For me, it's just wishing people all the best. Chef Matiko from Spain. <laughs> Chef Matiko came out to give a message to his cousins in Yabuhansi. I can't say just YouTubers. His own cousins who are fighting now in Yabuhansi. Naso came out with a video and, say, and he said a lot of things. A lot of things that affected both Mayugno and Mike Vengers concerning the scams that were exposed the other day. Mayugno was, was exposed from a different platform. Hey, hey, also this Mike, I think they were exposed from the... <laughs> Guys, Mayugno was exposed. Oh my goodness, I think I'm tired. I need to go, I need to go. Mike was exposed from Nairobi teacher, right? But Mayugno was exposed by his own people on his own channel, right? Uh-huh, okay. I think I get it right. So Matuko, Matiko, Ma <laughs> I was calling, I was almost calling Matako. <laughs> ah, Kung Fu Fanta. Hi, Kung Fu Fanta, shout out to you. Chief Matiko came out to talk about these brothers or cousins, his own cousins from Nyabohansi. He said a lot. He said a lot. But the best part, I know also he also mentioned uh, reactors and he was very upset that reactors are talking about his cousins in a wrong way and he was so upset that the cousins and the rest of them YouTubers, they are spoiling the name of Nyabohansi and blah, 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 blah. But what really caught me was the fact that this Matako, Matiko guy explained very well in his video when he said people think that in Europe people collect money from I don't know trees or where. All these villagers back in the village, they think that these Europeans or Americans those donors who keep maybe helping them, donating to them, supporting them. Now, this one's the, the villagers, these YouTubers. <laughs> I said that one person was not happy. He came ranting on his video. Yes, they are villagers from Nyabohansi. They think that people in Europe or in America, they are collecting money from the trees. See, this is the same, same statement I used to come across when I was also abroad at some point. It's not a new statement to me. I don't know if it is to you guys. Let me know. Hmm? While we were working so hard out there, and you could see back at home, people want money for this, money for that, money for this. And you could be asking yourself, These people, they think I'm collecting money from where? In fact, we used to say, they think that we are sweeping money from the streets. That's what we used to say. <laughs> hmm? These Nyabohanse YouTubers, they will never be contented with the small money that these donors, they are supporting them with. See, when someone is coming to support them, they, they will need more and more and more. And this makes these donors now to start questioning again. What is wrong with these people? They will come back sliding into these mamas inboxes even seducing them because sometimes they think that oh maybe these ladies they don't have anything to do with their money or they, they they are lonely or something that is why they are following us they have that mentality in them that these ladies and, and you can be shocked guys that some of the ladies that sent money to them some of which i know some of which even reported to me some stories some of them are just married. It's only that they just love seeing people work or seeing people do stuff and they just want to support. Listen, I said even this in my last video. There are people who just have that heart of helping. There is nothing you can do about it. As much as here, sometimes we come out and we start also blaming the donors who sent a lot of money to some of the boys and then they end up like scamming them. But at the same time, this, the people who just love helping, they love sharing, 
you know they it's not like they're helping them because they will die tomorrow but they just want to share with them because they love watching their videos and they'll be like ah let me let me support this brother on this issue that he mentioned something let me these are people who are on these streets as well but it doesn't mean that now they are lonely they want this 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 young man but at the same time there are others who want those men young men from the village they're, they're there I'm not saying that they're not there. They are there. They are those ones who make sure they have to take their flights and fly there and meet them in person. They're just so obsessed. <laughs> and there is nothing we can do about them. But you see, Matiko came out and he's telling these boys, please boys, listen here. People in abroad, they don't collect money on the trees. Listen to him. So I saw some people uh, send uh, forward me forwarded me some uh, certain videos from the village alarming alarming we've been uh, seeing a lot of videos about scams in the village which is not good personally i am imagined if somebody scams me the world you know some people think that when you are in the u.s where you are in europe money just you just walk here you collect money. You just walk there. You collect money. You just go from on, on, on the tree and shake the tree, and money comes down. Some people don't know really, uh, really that people really work hard for this money. Message to the donors, please, 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 please. Before you donate money, just know the. I I talked about this long time ago. Before you donate money, please. If it's not for personal use, like you are sending this, you're donating this money to Matiko, you're donating this money to Nastro, you're donating this money to somebody else. If it's not for him, you're using him to donate it to another person because this guy, for example, let me just talk about him. If you don't know about me, if you've not, please be asking people from the village. There are some people who are good in the village, and there are some people who are trying to be good. You know, just ask. Just you know, if you type Nyabuanse village, you can see a lot of videos. So just just try and do research in the you know to see who you are donating money to. Like, you, are you donating? You are donating money to Matiko. How is Matiko? Do you know his behavior? Please try and and see things try and ask because uh, there is uh, a say saying umevalia ngozi ya kondo you know matiko can come here smile and do a video about poor people but inside is i'm doing this for my own benefit my guys i was still watching Mara the other day when he wanted to send lydia aha uh -huh. <laughs> some are calling lydia roro we don't know who this Lydia is or the, or the Lydia Roro or whoever it is that is going for vacation in South Africa. Because last time I heard Marwa and Roro were planning to go to South Africa. I don't know why they couldn't go. Now they are looking for a Lydia to go to South Africa. In the comment section, I've heard a lot of people talking about this issue saying that, oh, now uh, Marwa is uh, competing yeah, with Wodemaya. They've said that in the comment section. I don't know if some of them have been deleted, but yeah, people have said that in the comment section. Marwa is competing with Wodemaya because Wodemaya, when he was in uh, Jamaica, he sponsored a trip for a girl. If you watch Wodemaya very well, guys, you can see, you can go and watch that video where he sponsored this girl to come to Kenya because the girl was learning Swahili. Now, guys, this is how Wodemaya does his things. What the man did not come out to ask people for money or ask anyone to donate anything for that cause. He felt that he wanted to help this girl achieve her dream. And so he hired a company, Bonfire Adventures. Guys, if you know, maybe some of you have come across Bonfire Adventures in some of Miss Trudy's. Uh, videos actually miss trudy is one of the brand ambassadors for that company bonfire adventures listen they hired bonfire adventures to take care of that girl 
where she'll sleep, everything. And in case of anything, they can call them back because the CEO of Bonfire Adventures, Mrs. Sarah Kabu herself, is a friend to Miss Trudy. They communicate. They can call each other in case there's anything. Like, it's free. You understand? If there's anything, any additional, maybe, whatever it is, they can call Odemaya or Miss Trudy and tell them, listen, this offer, this one is an offer. This one, we are going to do this. Or maybe this one, we are thinking we can take this girl to the next level. Or maybe we can add more money. It's so secure that way because they're dealing with someone they know. Personally, personally, is your network your network? Guys, is your network your net worth? <laughs> now Marwak has seen Wodemaya doing this kind of thing. Now himself he has come out, he's telling people, bungulu, 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 bungulu. <laughs> I'm tired today. <laughs> I can't laugh. <laughs> Guys, we want to do bungulu, 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 bungulu. Poo. Who? Let us screenshot. Oh, it's Lydia. Okay, guys, who is going to open GoFundMe? Who is going to open GoFundMe? You want to do the same thing that Wodemaya has done, but now using a very wrong method of doing things. People see these things. People brought out. It's not me and Carol who brought it out. You can go and check on their videos. People have been talking about these things even in the comment section. They've been telling him. You don't need to copy Wodemaya. Wodemaya is well organized. He's doing his things very well organized. And also he's connected. He knows the people who are in the high places. He's in America right now, but he can connect with Sarah Kabu, a CEO, Bonfire Adventures, take so and so, pick so and so, do these things. Things are just running when he's doing, you know, a person who is organized. Look at our boy. Oh, 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 look at our boy. You know, sometimes I feel so ashamed, honestly, knowing that this is a man or some of the boys or our brothers, let me say that, from Kenya. At some point in the beginning of the reaction, people used to say, oh, Kenyan people are like that. Kenyan men are like that. I've been arguing with people on these streets for a very long time, telling them that, no, this is not how Kenyan men are like. Kenyan men are also organized. Kenyan men also knows how, you know, to take care of themselves, to look good and everything. But tomorrow will always show a different part. I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know. Anyway, let's analyze this video and disagree, agree together, criticize them as usual. What else do you think we can do? Apart from that, that's the only thing that we always do here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video. Leave your comments down below. Let's analyze together, criticize together, agree and disagree, okay? Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. Hit on the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. Share this video out as well. Have you checked my store? Please do. Please do. Please do. We have amazing, amazing stuff, especially at this time. They have brought more products for, uh, is it spring? Yeah. Check out and pick anything that you love just to support this channel, AM Carol. And I say thank you in advance. And let's meet on the next one.